Richard Twad. I live in France now. Um, can you tell? So a bunch of you have seen the title and are now thinking, what are you on about, you fat bastard? Isn't Uncharted a hugely comically successful series? Who exactly would you want to defend it from? Uh, so first of all, rude, don't fat shame. Second, uh, you're exactly right. Uncharted is an absolutely massive property, the kind that gets legions of angry gamers out in the streets screaming for no, they'd have to go outside for that. The kind that gets legions of angry gamers out in comment sections furiously typing for blood over review scores. Its creator, Naughty Dog, is one of the most beloved studios in the industry. They have the kind of pedigree that got The Last of Us, you know, their other big game. Featured in that one kind of disappointing VNA exhibition about why games are art. By all metrics, Uncharted is doing fine. It shouldn't need defending. So I'm going to defend it. Apparently. Here's the deal. When it comes to the dumpster fire that is gaming discourse these days, you may have noticed a growing contingent of pretentious snobs who tend to fancy themselves as having advanced beyond the simple conversations about graphics and gameplay. People more invested in the artistic merits of the medium than your average player. I'm talking about the kind of a pretentious snob who'd go to see a V&A exhibition about why games are art that was specifically not made for them and then complain about it being disappointing. It's me, I'm talking about me. You're always talking about you. Not now, please, I'm filming over. See, people like me, we tend to dislike games like Uncharted quite strongly, but it's not the kind of open animosity we're reserved for Call of Duty and Ubisoft Open Worlds. No, it's more of a seething resentment. Nate, are you even listening to me? <laughs> the Uncharted series aren't bad games. They're competently made 7th and 8th gen third person shooters, complete with every trapping that genre designation entails. A series of fun, if shallow, experiences elevated by pretty graphics and exciting action set pieces. And clearly that's a problem. It's a series defined by cheap thrills and pretty explosions, and in the eyes of us pretentious snobs who tend to expect more from their games than cheap thrills and pretty explosions, that's bad. That's really bad. But remember, Uncharted is also really popular. And that is really, really bad. That is unforgivable. So that's where we are right now. Uh, the Last of Us, apart from getting displayed in actual art galleries, has been enjoying a wave of renewed interest from players and critics, both returning to this widely acclaimed genre masterpiece and finding themselves having to begrudgingly admit that it maybe wasn't complete dog shit. It's fine. It, it's, it's fine. It's okay. It, it's fine. Unlike everything else released that year. Uncharted, on the other hand, has yet to see a similar critical reappraisal. And I think it's high time that happened. So, I'm going to attempt to defend the Uncharted series from pretentious snobs, mainly myself. I know Naughty Dog is terrified of the threat posed to its multi-million dollar IP by an occasional YouTuber and both of my remaining subscribers, but who knows? Maybe if I do a bad enough job of defending it from me, I will destroy the series forever. Let's give it a shot. Now this was originally going to be a simple rundown of the things that I like about this series, but then my fingers slipped and I wrote five separate essays on the topic. I was going to keep them contained in a single video, but it was taking too long and then YouTube started threatening to demonetize my channel, so a series is. All that to try and convince you that maybe, just maybe, Uncharted deserves the popularity that it gets. And with a bit of luck, I might even manage to avoid getting bogged down in the ridiculous mess that is all the discourse surrounding it. Just kidding, you know what this is. You know I have to do something to shovel in a pretense of an overarching theme to trick you into thinking that this whole thing isn't just a series of barely connected stream of consciousness ramblings. Obviously, I'm going to be jumping straight into the worst of it. 